Hello everybody, it's Joe here and welcome back to another episode of City Bus Manager. Back in Tarvin today, we've got a fantastically brilliant fleet of buses. Uh, we have got, oh yeah, we need the V-belts, don't we? That's why uh, things are, right, hang on, you can actually be repaired, you're being repaired. Uh, you're waiting on a V-belt and a wiper. Yeah, I, I think basically we've done everything we can here, haven't we? Apart from tyres, no wiper, so we'll get the light done on that. That's pretty much good, the B5LH. Yeah, we're uh, we're working on expanding our fleet. We've got the new X1 line, if you remember we put that in in the last episode, which runs from Chester all the way up to Runcorn. Now, uh, Runcorn is what I would describe as a plethora of opportunity for, uh, for expansion. Now, we've got Runcorn bus station up here. Uh, we've also got, uh, we unlocked over here, which is uh, the Wirral, and all that I think is yeah you've got Eastern Village there and uh, and all around there you've even got to uh, the the airport there John Lennon Airport so uh, yeah we've we've got plenty of opportunity for making money here I'm gonna try and jump I can't jump right okay don't jump yeah terrible terrible so uh, yeah what I am gonna do is look at uh, getting some new fantastic routes in. Now, uh, what could we actually do with that? Now, this is quite an interesting one, because we've got, uh, got Northwich there. This through Acton Bridge looks like quite a decent little route, doesn't it? And then, of course, through Kingsley and up this way. That's awesome. Right, okay, let's, uh, let's get that then. So we've got the 114. Uh, so this will be the 115. There we go. Keeping him, keep them in alphabetical order. Now, uh, we're going to somehow get all the way down here. I think that we're going to... Ooh, how are we going to get there then? I reckon this is going to be quite a busy route because it goes to quite a lot of places that, you know, we that we would... You'd expect to get quite a few people there. So, Runcon Bus Station. Oh, it's a difficult one. Uh, right, we'll go to the High Street Barbers, first of all. Or, in fact, i tell you what, we'll go around that way. We'll go clockwise. Station Road, or can we can we go like out there? Oh right, so that's a bridge over the top, but it's doable. Right, we'll pop you there. Station Road, yeah, lovely. Come through here, through Runcorn. We'll keep going down here. There is so many opportunities here. We'll put you there, lovely. More past Road, Mormon Church. Oh, lovely. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come round here. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, Hill View, Cherry Blossom Road. This is actually... Oh, this is quite a good route. Right, we'll put you there. Wood Lane. Bring it down here. Oh, saucy. Look at that. Right. So we're coming down here. We're going to obviously stop at all the bus stops that the X1 doesn't stop at. Keyside, Texaco Garage. Yeah, there we go. Uh, right, hang on. I think we need to come down, obviously, to here, don't we? Devonshire Bakery. Is that the right place? Yeah. Uh, bridge Stores. Yeah, lovely. Around there. So we'll keep it clockwise. Then we're going to go down Churchfield Road. Lovely. Church Road. Methodist Church. Lovely. Look at that. That's uh, This is going to be a brilliant route. It's going to be fantastic. Right, hang on. So we're going to go... We'll put you there. We'll go down through Kingsley. Yeah, keep that there. Horseshoe in. Which way are we going? We'll, we'll go down the main road. Yeah, I think this is the main road. Please do correct me in the comments section if it's not the main road. It's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? Because like, if you come up this way, that's the main road. If you come down this way, this is sort of the main road. Oh, no, it's not. Hang on. Right, take that off. No, no, no. Reverse, reverse, reverse. That is the main road up there, isn't it? There we go. Keep on with it. Kingsley Mill. Yeah, lovely. Right, so we're going down here. No, we'll, we'll carry on straight across. There we go, through Croton. Stop at... What's that? That's Acton Bridge. Oh, yeah, because we need to go through Acton Bridge, don't we? Oh, Acton Bridge is up here. That's annoying. Never mind. We'll, uh, we'll we'll not go through Acton Bridge. Hang on. Have we got a route that comes down here? We must have done at some point. I don't know what we have or why why it goes there, but never mind. There we go. We'll go round there. 
we don't need to stop at all those stops, do we? Right, we'll stop there. Stop at Forster Avenue and then we'll just alternate at those ones. Yeah, lovely. Beach Hill Farm, Hodge Lane, Methodist Chapel. And we'll, we'll go around the back here. Tell you what, we'll go up here, so then we've got a bit of... Lovely, look at that. Right, hang on, so into Northwich. Straight into the interchange. Can we can we go around that way? Oh, hang on, right. Ignore that. Right, we'll go into the interchange there. And then what we'll do... Oh, there's an interchange there as well. Right, I have absolutely no idea what I did. Should we go round and through town? Like that, there we go. See, that makes you go round again. We'll go round through the cinema and back up. I can't remember for the life of me what I did before. I'll tell you what, we'll go over. Uh, we'll go over Hayhurst Bridge. Lovely. Right, keep them coming. Yep, down there, football field. There we go, right, get you there, you can stop at both, yep, yeah. Barrymore Road, Ringer Bells. This does strike me as a sort of enterprise where we are really not going to have enough buses to do this, but we can cross that bridge later. You know I like to plumb the route in and then worry about the buses later. Right, so Croton. It's going to be quite a, uh, quite a long route, this, isn't it? When you think. There we go, keep it, keep it going, yeah, lovely. I mean, it's not particularly efficient either. It's not. I guess it's probably one of the quickest ways of going from Runcorn to Northwich. I wonder if there is actually a bus from Runcorn to Northwich. Let me know in the comments section, because uh, I don't really know the local area. Right, Bridge Stores. Keep the keep the. Uh, there we go. So it goes around clockwise. Bridge Stores. And then obviously we're back on the X ones route now. Right, Tech Saint Hilda's Drive off. Change that with Fluin Lane. And the Texaco Garage. Oh, Clifton Road, Wood Lane, Halton House School, Wood Lane again. They're not very imaginative with these uh, lane namings, are they? Right. Yeah. Keep it going. The Beechwood, Coniston Close. Lovely. Heath, Heath. Oh, Heath. There we go. Runcon Golf Course, yeah, and again, the Heath. There's a lot of Heaths in Runcon, isn't there? There we go, right. St. Clement's Catholic, Cheshire Bakehouse, Westfield Primary, Runcon. Really starting to pick up the lag now. Station Road, Station Road, High Street Barbers, and Runcon Bus Station. Look at that, right, this is quite a route. So, how long is it going to take to get round? <laughs> Right out loud. Right, okay, so it's gonna take, uh, right, so 60, 120, it's gonna take two and a half hours, that's mental. So if we go to 75, you will see the interchange roughly, there you go. So I'm gonna put 10 minutes on that there. So then half of that is about 36, Hazelhurst Road, right, we'll have five minutes at Hazelhurst Road. Have we got Hazelhurst Road here? Is it here? There it is. Lovely. That leaves four minutes at Runcorn Bus Station. Right, okay. No, we'll, we'll take two minutes off that Hazelhurst Road. And then we'll take two off that Hazelhurst Road as well. Leaving us a total of ten minutes at Runcorn Bus Station. Lovely. Right, so if that's going to take two and a half hours to get round, that means that the first bus will actually return. See, that's best part of three hours, isn't it? That means the best the first bus will be back at 8 a.m. into Runcorn. It's not a particularly early service, so we're going to go for a 4 a.m. departure. But obviously what that does mean is that the last bus is going to be quite late. Ooh, yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah. 2000, three hours. Right, 2100. 
that'll do. Right, it's going to be every hour to 1800. Yep, copy that. That's going to be Monday to Friday. Saturday it can start at 5am until 1800. Solo buses ideally, please. Yep, paste that in there. And then, right, so for how about 6.30? Yeah, 6.30 until 21.30. Three hours, that means it'll be back for just after midnight. Yeah, obviously it has to run empty back to the depot. That's going to take a while. But if we, uh, if we make sure that that's all there, lovely. And then Sunday is going to be 6 a.m. until 2100 every hour. That'll do. So it's every half hour. Oh, delayed assignment on the 115. Right, where are our buses? Right, let's get an Evo SETI out on it. Uh, right, hang on. We should have something else. I don't know what that is. That's an Omni City. There we go. Oh, there's no bus driver. Yeah, I think that we've actually got more... Uh, we've got more staff than members now. So there's a couple of people who aren't named. Go and hire them. Right. Uh, Sling an eclipse out. This is a real mishmash of, uh, of buses, isn't it? Shift schedule. Assign the drivers. You don't have enough bus drivers. Right, okay. Hire more bus drivers then. How about now? This is research. Uh, right, bus fleet. Where's the, the shift schedule? You have few too, too few drivers? What? Right, that's got no driver. How all of a sudden can we suddenly have no drivers? I don't know. How many... Ooh, I don't know. Oh, because of course yesterday was Sunday. Sunday meant that there was a reduced service. Right, everyone needs a locker. We can't afford any more lockers, but... Oh, hang on. Where's all the lockers down the middle of the corridor gone? Did I ever put them in? Evidently not. Right, there we go. We'll, we'll put that all the way down. Hire employees, right, bus drivers. Yep, we'll just hire the friendliest. I think we've got enough now, haven't we? Uh, research, <laughs> right, research is looking good. We don't need to do any research, uh, but what we do need to do is go on there and assign everything. Right, oh, hang on, crumbs, we don't have enough buses. Yikes, right, okay. Oh, we don't have enough money to buy new buses either, which is a minor inconvenience. Hmm. Yeah. It could be that we do have enough buses. They just can't fit in. Right, there we go. Heritage Fleet. Get that on the W1. Oh, no. I can't believe we're having... To... Right, you can go on the 110. Oh, we've got more than enough buses. Look at that. Right, get both of them out. Everything's peachy. The Heritage Fleet are coming back out. Right, what's this? Is this the first one of the day? That is the 4am. For some reason, the... Uh... The 4 a.m. Oh, no, it's 20 late. Come on. this It's 4 a.m. and it's nearly full. Oh, for crying out loud. This is going to be mental. It's going to be so busy, isn't it? Oh, no. The, the only good news is, is that I guess it's so busy because there's another bus, like, right behind it. Oh, no, hang on. 5 a.m. Hmm. It is a worry. I'm not going to lie to you people, it is a bit of a worry what we've done here, but it looks like it's making its money. It seems to be catching up time as well, which is good. Twelve minutes down. So we've got a bit of time at, uh, oh no, hang on, right, we're in Northwich now. So it's an hour and a half in. Right, we're running back one minute late, which is practically on time, let's face it. What's that? That's a 103. 
Mm, we'll see how the bus going the other way is. Uh, right, three hours as well. So this will be the 7 a.m. So, yeah, it, it actually is three hours exactly, isn't it? This will require six buses to run the route. That's, that's quite a few buses. That'll be why we're struggling for drivers as well. Not forgetting the X1. Ooh, look at that. Right, bridge stores. Are we uh, are we changing there? Not many changing for the X1. I don't think the X1's going to be a particularly profitable line. I mean, it's got an ALX400 on it. It's got 21 on it. Flipping it. Yeah, these are busy. Obviously, we now, at half six, it goes to a half hourly frequency. So, we should... Hopefully see a bit of a reduction in uh, in capacity that not capacity and increasing capacity there we go. Oh, no, right there. It goes 51 54 passengers This is obviously gonna be the 7 a.m. Departure back out. There we go right back out we go Chester Park and ride very busy there. Oh, no, right. Okay Yeah, quite busy people Quite busy indeed. <laughs> oh dear. Right, well, if this is going to be so busy. Ooh, I don't know. So, I mean, to be fair, this is coping. It's uncomfortably busy, but it's not like so full that it's it's rammed. You know, it's, I mean, it's, it's dropping off as well. I wonder how the services behind are doing. That's obviously pretty busy. Perhaps we could do with double deckers on it. 115, again, fairly busy. There should be one that's just departed as well. 115. Ah, I think solo buses are fine. This is peak time, of course. The next 115 coming back there. That'll be the 9 a.m. So if that was three hours ago, this must have been the 7 a.m. So the... No, this will be the 6 a.m. So yeah, this is actually still hourly going into town. Now it's half hourly. This is one there, right? Okay. It does seem that there's more people coming out of town than going into town, but that always is the way on uh, on City Bus Manager, isn't it? You don't actually get to do that many round trips on it, do you? How's, uh, how's the old network looking? We're looking at £36,000. That's good. Right, what have we got in double-decker buses? And uh, can we buy any of them? Well, we could treat ourselves to a few ALX 400s. Oh, no, we've sent the broken buses out. Hell. Right. Go on, Tech 12. Oh, your Tech 12. Lovely. Tech 16. Rejected. 16. Rejected. We're going to try for a Gemini. Gemini, oh no, I don't really want a Gemini. Let's try solo buses. Oh, hang on, right, you need to park in the double-decker space around there. Oh, we've unlocked a new Enviro 400. That's interesting, right, buy new bus. Uh, double-deckers, N230UD. Enviro 400. Ah, but we've got an Enviro 400 there. And that is the uh, the UK tooling. I think that's that's a little bit different, isn't it? Ooh, that'd be nice to have Enviro 400s. Said nobody ever, but I, I do quite like an Enviro, you know. No Enviros there. Have we actually got any broken buses? That's a good point. Right, the Evora is broken. Excellent. That's broken because the light needs fixing. The Olympus is broken because of the V-Belt. There's still no wipers. Excellent. The Esteem, uh, the V-Belt and wiper. ALX400 V-Belt and wiper. Right, tell you what we'll do. We're going to be ridiculous. There we go. Because people keep breaking everything. We want them now. Drone away! Look at that, right, they're here. Everyone bring things inside, quick, it's raining parts. 
We don't want the uh, the passengers to get hit. Right, I'm going to do some research there. We've not got an awful lot of money, but I'm going to research to upgrade our buses. I'm not bothered about Wi-Fi. It doesn't interest me dealing with internet contracts. Perhaps one day we will, but at this moment in time, nah, not interested. People can look out the window and enjoy themselves. How's that sound? What I would also like to do is uh, is get our Francesca a couple of uh, research buddies because on the, uh, on the Joe Plus exclusive series, which uh, is well worth uh, becoming a member to watch, uh, we are doing hour long episodes of this. Uh, we did trial having four research monkeys. We'll call them research monkeys. Uh, and it works. The research gets done so much quicker, as you can probably imagine. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have some more researchers there. Let's hire some more. Hire employees, researchers. Uh, right. You, you, and we'll have three, so that hopefully research will always be going on at any one time. I've changed my mind. Uh, oh, no, we can't sack Roger Roller, or Roger Roller. Uh, who's the friendliest out of you then? You are. So you can go. Yeah, there you go. Right, we've sacked. We've sacked him whilst he's on the toilet. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he's been dismissed whilst on the toilet. Ah, that's a shame. Right, do a bit of mobile app development. I know it says it takes pressure. I don't want to rely too much on a mobile app, but... Uh, you know, the, the service centre does seem quite good at this moment in time. I don't want it to get too much busier. Too much busier? Yeah, too, too busy. I don't want it to get too busy. Because if it gets too busy, then uh, then we're going to struggle out because we'll have to expand this way. I mean, we don't actually need this place here, do we? We, we just don't need it. That's, that's the long and short of it. Right, how are we doing with the 115? It's busy. Wow, it is busy. What's that? That's a 115 as well. It is also a little bit late. Hmm. See, I do sort of have a plan. I mean, it's it's sort of a bit of a plan. Like, I don't think. Oh, you see, that's the that's the M two thirty UD. I don't want that one. I want a new one. Right, you'll love this. Right, bus fleet. Buy a new bus. Enviro four hundred. How many can we afford? One. Excellent. Oh, it's a short wheelbase one as well. For goodness sake, the model's pretty good though. That looks fantastic. Right, let's go for a white roof. EV 552D. Right, get it in. Looks a bit like a London one, doesn't it? But it's not dual door, so that's okay. That can go and be painted, this ALX 400. I mean, it says that it can carry 102 passengers, so that's good. Oh, I love the little rail around the front as well. That's awesome. Wait, hang on. Right, roof white, EB552D. That's really, really good. I love that. What's that say on the back? Whole bus? Oh, I don't know him. I'm sorry. Right, keep that like that. That looks awesome. I'm really, really pleased with that Enviro. Said to nobody ever, but Joe actually did say that. You heard me say it. It looks awesome. Right, we'll get another one. EB 552D, yep. So, what are you going to be? You're going to be in a new vehicle group called Enviro 400. Uh, right, where is it? Is it there? Yeah, Enviro 400. Because what we could do is we could have them, like, what vehicle type we want on the route. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the timetable. And change the 115 to Enviro 400s. Yeah, preferred Enviro 400. 
Uh, Enviro 400. That's going to work, isn't it? An Enviro 400. Oh, hang on. That's... What's that, then? That should just be on a Sunday. Yeah, we, we should really have done that. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Right, make us some more money, because we need more Enviro 400s on the case. Now, have we got more broken buses? We have. We've got an Olympus. I didn't even know we had a grey Olympus, but clearly we do. Get the lights, the Omnicity uh, indicator, and I tell you what, we'll do your tyres while you're there. Esteem can have its wiper done when it gets back. God, we have loads of broken buses. Oh, that's out on shift. Oh, we sent one of the really bad ones out, didn't we? Because we didn't have anything else to run. Right. Okay. Right. Get that Get that sorted. How's the research coming, guys? Looking good. Looking good. Premium seats. Let's get them researched as well. A lot of passengers buying weekly tickets, isn't there? Oh, what's that? Oh, no, is it go? Oh, it's gone out on service. We're going to say we've sort of lost control of the liveries a bit, haven't we? What's happening in the old, uh, the old garage? Why is nobody... Why are none of the mechanics repairing anything? Have we got mechanics? Resting and is driving a bus. Oh, right, because you're putting, you're putting them in there, aren't you? I can tell. Yes, right, okay. Oh, the Olympus is back. Oh, we've unlocked a Gemini 3. Lovely. See, this is obviously... Uh, right, hang on. Where's the Enviro gone? Is it over the other page? It is. 52,000. We could hypothetically do this. Enviro 200 MMCs as well. Lovely. I wonder if they're class as bigger buses or little buses. Oh no, they can't be minibuses because we wouldn't have had to research them, would we? Come on, let's have 52,000. There we go. Right, roof colour white. EB552D. And then we also need to tell them that they are Enviro 400. So there we go. Right, Enviro 400 there. Enviro 400 there. Let's get them parked up. So what that does mean is that tomorrow, I not today, but obviously this is Monday in game. Tuesday in game, the first like the hourly service until it gets to be half hour can be bigger buses. I reckon we'll probably get another four so that the whole route can be Enviros. There we go. So the one one five, you don't have enough buses. Yeah. See, that actually does a double shift on that one, as does that. Where's that other Enviro? Where's he gone? See, we'll, we'll take Lucy Michaela off on that one. We'll put Hakim on that one. 1420. You can then be the 1605 with Bjorn. How many have we got? We've got four other things. I mean, worst case scenario... I don't know why I'm going backwards through this list. Right, there we go. You can come off there. We'll put you on there, 115 with LEGO County fan. Mm, you see, yeah, that's not going to work, is it? Right, you can go on... That. You can go on the 115. So there's, there's less pressure to get it done. What have we got there? 1750? Yeah, you see, these X1s aren't going to work, are they? Uh, 1805. Yeah, that's not really long enough. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave that one. What's that, then? 1805. Not quite long enough, is it? 2315. I want to get the decker on it. Oh, what's that? 1645. Again, not really late enough. But 1655, 
No. <laughs> oh, these are at really awkward times, aren't they? Um. Right, there we go. We'll get the Heritage Fleet out again. Um. <laughs> That's not going to work. Oh, dear. Oh, right, okay. That can... There we go. We'll stick an Omni City on there. Wessex buses. You can take the Omni City. Do I dare put a Solo on it? No, you can't do that. And we've got a bus driver called S. Oh, no. No. Ignore me. Ignore me. Uh, the, oh, no. We've got a route called S. Hang on. What's that, then? Oh dear. Right, well, that is where we're going to leave it for today. I have no idea. Where is it? What is it? Can we can we zoom in on that? I have no idea. Right, we'll look into that for next time. I do hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, uh, please do show your love and appreciation. Click the like button. Uh, it would do me a great deal of... Uh, I don't know where I was going with that. It would be brilliant. It would be brilliant if you click the like button. And uh, if you haven't already, do consider subscribing so you never miss out on any uh, on any future episodes. I have absolutely no idea what S is. I think... Is that it? No. Oh, dearie me. I need to lie down. Cheerio! Goodbye for now.